Have you ever heard of ecstatic dance? Essentially what a static dance is, is letting yourself go free to music and allowing yourself really to have that freedom of expression, that freedom of consciousness through dance. So in this video, we're gonna talk about my experience doing ecstatic dance every week for four weeks. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. So I recently discovered Ecstatic Dance in Aubrey Marcus's book, Own the Day, and a few podcasts that he did where he was talking about getting outside your shell, getting outside your body, and how that really can affect you. So of course, being a biohacker, experimenter, someone who wants to try everything out, I dove into understanding Ecstatic Dance and trying it out to the music that Aubrey recommended in a playlist that he had on Spotify. Now, what I found is at the beginning, it feels weird. Aubrey recommends to do it in complete darkness so you can't see yourself. You can't get in your head about what you're doing, how you're moving. The thing is, what I realized is I liked it with the lights on. I liked it, the freedom and the expression, and I don't have as much uh, body image issues or uh, neglect of self-love as many people would when they first started. So for me, it was more natural to do it with the light on. So it's really a variable thing. Now. It can be anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or however long you wanna actually dance for. But what you're doing is quite literally pairing music to dance and you're just allowing yourself to go through whatever you want. It doesn't matter if it's disco, it doesn't matter how you like to dance. It could be a capoeira style dance and it could be just movement based on the ground. But all these different things allow you to get that freedom to express yourself. And you know, it's very strange because at the beginning it feels weird and then your mind can go free and your body can go free and you actually start to get all these weird feelings and experiences and you move yourself in one way or you move yourself in another way and you go, wow, I didn't know I would do that before. Or you start to get in your head a little bit and you get to address that. You get to feel that these different movements, this different way of moving your body has some weird stigma associated to it in your mind. So Aubrey's playlist uses a little concept by Stanislav Grof, which is basically you start in the womb, you start in the warm place, then water breaks and there's chaos then you're expanded, you're here, and then it's warmth again. And so I like that movement because you start on the ground, you start moving and feeling the music, and then you really get into it, and then it's chaotic. But then it goes back into powerful and you know you're there, and finally warmth again. Again, that's a longer playlist. So if you wanna start slow, start with 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just dancing to different music and getting yourself back into that rhythm because no dance is bad, no dance isn't just for women, no dance isn't just for guys, whatever you think. Dancing is fine and it's actually really good. See, the thing that I notice now, one of the main things is that I'll move differently throughout the day and I'll dance if I hear a song. I don't really care anymore. On top of that, I know how to create my internal state now and I know how to make it a lot easier to get back in the groove because a little bit of dancing can take you a long way. So that's my experience with ecstatic dance. I definitely urge you to try it out. I'm gonna link a video that's gonna give you a bit more of an explanation about how to do it, what it is, Otherwise, if you like this video in any way, make sure to press like, subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future, and uh, get dancing.